G'day folks, it's Laura here and today I'm going to do a flip cup pour. This time I'm feeling the fluoro pink side of the spectrum, but I'd also like to have a base color of this kind of green or greeny aqua color. So my colors today are fluorescent pink from Pabio. Now this color is actually very viscous being from the Pabio range. And so actually when I added uh, the paint to the cup here, I added a small amount of paint, a small amount of pouring medium, and then I made it up, I mixed it well before making it up with the rest of the pouring medium and adding some water to make it a little less viscous. Now the pouring medium that I'm using is my standard pouring medium and I'll link to a video on how to make this if you're interested. Secondly, we had some blue violet. Now this is a very highly pigmented paint from Jo Sonia and it's also uh, opaque. And so I added very, very small amount of paint to the bottom of this and only a small amount of pouring medium as well because I don't want this particular color to dominate this painting. Then we have Celadon, which is the greeny color that I'd like to be most of the painting. So I've got quite a large full cup here and then Naples yellow hue, pale gold, and a combination of pearl white and titanium white. Now, with this combination, I had very little of the pearl white. It's an iridescent uh, mica-based paint. I only used a very small amount of that because it is translucent. And for this particular white combination, I need to use this white as an opaque base to separate between the fluorescence and the other colors because this one's a translucent color and unless I do that I'm going to get some uh, rather nasty layering effects. We'll see if this approach works. So anyway I've made up my paints already using that pouring medium and I'm just about at the stage where I can start layering my cup. Okay so I'm all set up now to layer my cup and I'm going to be using my standard cell activator here. Now I'll link to a video on how to make this if you're interested. This is the white version of the cell activator, which is going to be mostly what I use in this painting. So it uses the Amsterdam titanium white, but I also have a black version using lamp black from Amsterdam. And I'm going to use just a couple of drops of this between some layers of this painting to provide a little bit of black lacing, uh, which I find is a little bit more interesting than just having the white lacing. Okay, so I'm going to start by layering a good amount of the cell activator on the bottom and the sides up here. Now with this painting, because the fluorescent pink is so translucent, I am going to start with it and the gold and then put a decent layer of the opaque white between the layers before I start getting into these other colors that are much richer in terms of their pigmentation. So I've already prepared my canvas. This is the front of the canvas. This is the back of the canvas and I've added painter's tape to the back as well as giant push pins. So it's time to flip the cup now. Now 
and I'm just going to get the remaining paint out of the cup and cover the edges and the corners. Now I'm just going to lift up this corner in order to bring the paint down a little way. Stop it going off the edge. This one has a lot of bubbles in it because I had just shaken up my pouring medium, which is to be expected, unfortunately. So I think we'll uh, spin this one out now. Wow, this one's quite interesting. I have got a huge number of bubbles, uh, which I've now popped using the heat gun. Uh, interestingly, I've got a lot of the, the fluorescent pink ended up underneath a lot of the green layer, uh, which wasn't my plan. So just going to cover the corners here. And take some of the paint off the edges.